All right, folks, it's a complete honor to have with me one of, one of the best legendary actors of all time, James Tolkien here, Northeast Comic Con. James, I like being back here in Massachusetts. Listen, I like Massachusetts, I like Boston. Over the years, I think I played every theater in Boston and I did two or three movies here too. Oh, what movies were there? Uh, the, what was the, um, the Friends of Eddie Coyle, and then another okay, one, uh, one more time. I forget, I forget the names. But I, I, I've done, I think, three movies here. You've done a lot of incredible, legendary movies. One of my favorites, uh, playing a detective in Masters of the Universe with Dolph Lundgren. Uh, such a great movie that was a cartoon and comic book and came to life. And uh, how did you like uh, playing a detective? And what are your experiences on that movie uh, set? Well, it was a lot of fun. We had too much fun. Um, I played that was Detective Lubick, and I played him. The key of the character was that his, all his thought processes came from the back of his brain and nothing from the front lobes. <laughs> That's fantastic. And you also played the character called Numbers in the Dick Tracy movie with Warren Beatty. That was a very, another movie that was a cartoon and comic book that came to life. Uh, and, and everybody had to get a big makeup job for that one. You got Al Pacino, Madonna, Warren Beatty. What was your experience like in the great movie Dick Tracy? Well, it was, you know, Warren Beatty's an old friend of mine, and it was great just being on that set. It was special being on that set. And luckily, I didn't have the prosthetics like some of the guys, so I didn't go through that torture. They, some of them, would, at times, went practically nuts with, with all, of the, all that stuff on them. Do you think there's going to be a sequel to Dick Tracy? I don't know if I heard about that or not. I don't think so, no. Uh, but there is, uh, they're talking about Top Gun, and I think it probably will happen now. Yeah, and how was your experience like on Top Gun that you just mentioned that with Tom Cruise? Well, that was very special because, you know, when you make a movie, you never know... If, uh, but in this one, Top Gun, everybody felt like it was going to be a success. They just, just fell and knew it right from the first day, you know. Yeah, we're going through so many iconic movies that you've done. And now we go to the Back to the Future series. Uh, Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, so much talent. Uh, you played a Principal Strickland. Uh, we want to know, uh, you know, what's your thoughts on playing that role in the legacy of the great uh, movie series? Well, uh, you know, in uh, 1984, I was doing David Mamet's play on Broadway, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, and I got this uh, offer from Robert Zemeckis, who I didn't know, and they sent me the script. And I, I've always said, I'm never going to Hollywood until Hollywood sends for me. And I said, okay, this is my chance to go to Hollywood. So I went, did uh, Back to the Future, and. We, unlike Top Gun, nobody really felt that you know it was going to be that special, particularly. But it was became so special and so right. It, um, it's like all the planets were aligned for Back to the Future, and it just hit. I heard that Michael J. Fox had to do family ties during the day and then at night do Back to the Future. So he must have been really tired through those shots at night and everything like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, he's a young guy. He can take it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know they uh, yeah. to begin with, they had Eric Stoltz playing that part. <laughs> yeah, right. And then right. they decided they needed uh, Michael J. Fox, and they did need him. Uh, it made all the difference. Uh, that that choice was probably the difference between its huge success or maybe nothing. So uh, it, it was it was the right thing to do. And you talk about some of your experiences on Broadway. Uh, what was that like uh, playing live theater in front of uh, a live audience? Well, that's what, I, that's what I've done most of my career, most of my life. Uh, I feel much more comfortable on the stage. Uh, I like the boards under my feet. And the thing is, once you, get, once you create a character in the theater with all the rehearsal and the work, you suddenly own it. And then when you start performing for audiences, you, you kind of feel like you have them in the palm of your hand, you know. Whereas in mo movies, you shoot it, you, shoot, you, you don't really know, you know. It's like slipping on a banana peel. You hope it works out, you know. That's fantastic. I want to thank you so much for your time. It is an honor and a privilege. Thank you so much. My pleasure. You're very good. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only James Tolkien.